Well, here's a little update showing off um, the uh, hybrid blender slash magic of voxel system for animation I'm working on, which can hopefully run at about 100 frames per second at its maximum. So that's going to be pretty cool to be able to have animations run like this. And let me show you how this is all programmatically working and whatnot. We've got this file in Blender now where I've got individual pieces of um, um, a character's uh, you know, model, overall model, broken up into different little meshes, imported into Blender, and then all these keyframes created so that the animation can proceed, right? And so what happens in the code is, um, check it out, here's model.h where we got all these different types of um, the body parts, right? You got your head, eyes, hair, different parts of the arms, stuff like that. Um, and even the even this cape bit, the cloak, right? I think I'm gonna separate this into four different sections so that cloak, or maybe eight different sections, so the cloak can really be animated really cool. And uh, what this does is it basically just takes all these um, transformations that we have from these keyframes, loads them with, um, loads them from the Blender file, and inside KitFu, inside, basically inside WraithBinder's engine, it goes and processes those, right? So we've got this thing that parses a Blender file, which uses FBT Blend, which is a GitHub project. You can look it up. FBT Blend's pretty cool. Um, and then, um, you know, parses out its objects, and from those objects, it can set translations and rotations and whatnot, and turn those into keyframes inside my own code, so the code can basically just interpolate between the frames and output a bunch of different Magicka voxels that are cached. So we've got this, all these voxel um, parts, like here's the lower arm, here's um, the cape, you know, here's some, ha <laughs> some crazy hairstyle, there's the mohawk hairstyle, here's part of a leg. Um, and, uh, you know, it compiles all those into these. So this is, this is the, it looks horrible right now. It's all kind of messed up, but you can kind of see what it might look like eventually. So the head is shifted a little bit too far to the right. And that will be, um, a matter of, you know, simply making sure the actual pivot point inside Blender is correct. And then also the way it's aligned inside the, in Magic of Voxels, uh, file for the actual individual head where is that anchor point you know so dialing in the anchor points basically and rotations offsets translations all that kind of stuff um, I think that I'm going to be able to get some really nice looking models here and then so the point here is we've got three of these frames right and in blender we've got you know we've got 0, 10 for the first frame, 20 for the next frame, 30 for the next frame. That's 100 frames a second we've got this animation set to. If we were to go all the way to 100, this would be one second. Um, and so right now I've only got it at uh, 10 frames per second output, right? So we've got A0, A1, and A2. Is this even working? I haven't even checked to see if the animation part is working. Hold on. Let's see if we can notice the the arms going upwards a little bit. Uh, are they? Oh, wait. Now, I don't know if it's working yet. I must not have this actual output of, oh, I'm probably using the wrong keyframe. In fact, yeah, I think, yeah, it's just loading keyframe zero. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I haven't done the animation right yet, but what we've got here is a really nice, um, this is really satisfying to see all this coming together to the point where my engine can compile a model, right? It might look horrible. There's, you know, problems. Look at look how there's like a hole in his knee right here. His back leg is not aligned right there. Um, the sword's backwards. The sword should be actually the sword's rotated 90 degrees on X axis. It looks like, you know what I mean? All this stuff needs to be dialed in. But the point that my engine can go and and like compile a model right out of different little parts is super cool because this is going to really add a, um we'll be able to customize characters so much as a player you could have a fat character or a super skinny character or female male like doing all those things all we have to do is go all i have to do is go and change the model part so like let's go to the head that's a pretty good example there's head zero but we could have a female head 
a weirdly shaped head, a cone head, whatever. You know what I mean? And we can compile all, like, use these different parts of all these characters, compile them all together into 100 frames per second, and have really customizable and fast animations all in a, this voxel world. So I'm really excited about this. It's uh, taken quite a little bit of work to get this whole, like, uh, especially the, the, the ability to read a Blender file is itself quite a complicated thing. So kudos to the FBT Blend project. But anyways, um, having finally read that and understood it and got it all working, I'm really happy about this. And I think, so there's one, I've talked about this in several videos lately about how this whole Blender integrated system I'm trying to create, uh, which I guess I have now, you know, gotten working, not working perfectly, but the point is, oh, it's my reminder to take a break. The point is, I forgot my point. <laughs> oh, stupid break thing broke my train of thought anyways it's exciting to have it this far I think that's what I was trying to say I was going to share one other thing but oh well um, so yeah thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you uh, next time